I'm going upstairs just to walk around upstairs, so I'll be right back. Hi ladies, I have a display down in the basement so I thought I'd stop by and give you some information in case you want to stop. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you look at this little brochure, there's like 10 things in there you can think about. I know it's a really crazy subject, but it's absolutely true. Hi. How are you doing? Good. I'm, I have this display downstairs in the basement, so I thought I'd stop by if anybody wanted to come ask me some questions. Okay. Oh, how cute are those? Oh, they're just adorable. Can I give you some information? Oh, no, thank you. And I'm down in the basement. Okay. And I saw you, young man. Me? Yes, I did, downstairs. Hey, do you ever hear this? No, I have not. Yeah, I'm down in the basement. I have my banners with me, so take a look at that. If you have questions, come down and see me. Okay, thank you. Sure. Good for you. You'll be smarter just studying it, you know? I get smarter every day. Yeah. If you don't learn something, that's the day you die. Did you know that? You got to learn something new every day. That's right. Hippie Jacks. I'm good. So uh, I have my display down in the basement. So I guess you're the band in charge here. So you can. Uh... Yeah. Uh, I am. I am. <laughs> did you did you ever hear that the Earth, Earth is flat? flat? I have. Yeah. Did you look into it at I all? I did. Mm -hmm. I looked into it a little bit. Uh, I don't know. No. Well, you don't know? Okay. I guess it could be. Well, but, yeah. I, I've been teaching this for about a year and a half now, so you should ask me any questions you might have. Okay. Uh -huh. Because it's very important to know that our government is lying to us. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. Big time. I believe that. Look, look here. Here's Australia, right? Yeah. And here's the uh, North Pole up here. So, how does a compass, there's my compass, how does a compass work from Australia? Does it go through the center of the earth? Does it go like around over the mountains and everything? No. No, it's actually flat. And it goes directly from Australia to the North Pole. Uh, my one, okay, so my actually, I do have one question because we were, ta we were talking about it and my, my friend, dad, he, he flies balloons and he like flew all the way around us. But one, like if you flew, if you flew, like one way, when you again, if it, when you have to like come back instead of like going around. Them. See, you have to understand how a compass works. Okay, a compass will point to the North Pole. So when you are pointing to the North Pole, you're you're like on a string, a tether. Okay. So when you go east, you're going this way in a circle. When you go west, you're just going backwards in the same circle, and you can't perceive the curvature of that circle. But that's how it is. You're going in that direction. Everything is north. Everything out away from north is south. Antarctica goes around the outside edge. 
Now, I don't teach past that. Some people say there's a lot more past there. I don't, I don't know. I've never been there. But, yeah, so it's, it's a way of thinking, and you still have to, I still have to catch myself say, okay, let me think about that. Person. How does it go? So, yeah, it, it works just like that. And that's how our sun moves. Our sun is very close, not 93 million miles. Okay. Not. Like, I teach that it's even 9.3 miles. 9.3 miles. I have a video of a guy who took a video out of his uh, cockpit of his uh, airplane, his 747 or whatever those big ones are. And he's looking and, and he goes like this. There's the moon over here and there's a the sun over there. But the horizon is above the sun. How does that happen? He has to be, and I, it comes back, and I stopped the video. I said, now look, on his altimeter, it says 37,000 feet. That's like seven miles. The horizon above the sun at 37,000 feet. That would mean the sun has to be within that height. Do you realize that? Because the uh, horizon is always at your eye level, no matter how high you go. The horizon always comes up to your eye level because it's a matter of perspective. It's not a fixed thing. Hers will be a little different. Yours will be, a my son is 6'4". His horizon is a little bit different than mine because I'm down here. See, so it's a matter of your eyes. But you really got to like perceive this and study it and look at, look at your world. You got to keep your eyes and look at your world and not down here in the phone. <laughs> See, yeah. you got to be looking up. So my, you can ha contact me on that website. Okay. I, I get those emails. They, they ship the things over to me, and I, have to, I answer these questions, and I'm happy to do it. So, right. awesome. yeah. Thank you. And I also bring my banners, which are in the basement right now, and I take them anywhere. Okay. Okay, tomorrow I'll be in Hoboken, New Jersey. Oh, wow, okay. So cool. if you have, like, a party or you get a bunch of people together and you want to freak them out, have me come over. <laughs> Have me come over. I'll be there half hour or whatever. Make everybody smarter. For free. I do it for free. How you doing? I'm down in the basement. They're lovely. So I'm in the basement and I have my banner set up and I'm just going around and I wanted to show you what I'm doing. And you can stop down if you have a question. But this is absolutely true. Hey, I'm in the basement, so I just thought I'd stop by and give you the information, and you can look into it or come down and see me. I'm down in the basement, and I have this my banner set up, and you can come down and see me if you have a question. Okay, it's absolutely true. I teach it. Is this your room in here? Yep. This is why I'm in the basement, and I have my banner set up, and this is what I'm teaching. So you can come down and ask me a question if you have one. Yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, my God. Have you even heard about that? Okay, so the librarian wants to play. Oh, stairs. Thank you very much. Yeah, go down the basement. That's where I'm at. You been in the basement yet? No. That's what I, that's what I teach. Take a look at it.
fireplace. Did you know fireplaces, they used to have a metal fire back, then they had these two things, and we interpret that as being things that you set the logs on, but really it was an energy collector, and they had balls on top of those two things, and they were filled with mercury. They're energy collectors, and they would heat that up. It's really like a heater and not a fireplace. Yeah, if you look into that ancient, like, buildings and stuff, yeah. So, did you do any research on how how many cities have been burnt? Like, how many cities really burnt? Well, no, but fire was so prevalent in that era. There were fires all the time, you know, everywhere. Yeah, but what caused them? Oh. See, we had Atlanta burnt. We well, there, had San Francisco burnt. Yeah, there were a lot of causes, um, you know, exposed gas lines, flammable materials. So you there think we no had shortage. gas lighting? Oh, yeah, in this era, there definitely was a lot of gas lighting. Well, I disagree with that. I don't think we had gas lighting. I think it was something else. That's what we're looking into, well, too. There, is there, there, Gas lighting did exist. They, they used it. They still use well, it. Well, what is your evidence for that? Did you have any, like, real pictures of what the gas, what the lights looked like? I'll let you alone here. You ever hear this before? Uh, no. It sounds wacky, doesn't it? No. It doesn't? Oh, you can take information and, you know, just it is your please. Well, I don't think we live on a spinning ball. Okay. Okay. And I think that this is the map. And North Pole's in the center, Antarctica goes around the outside edge. Could you hold that for a second? Sure. I'll show you this. See, all these world organizations, they use the flat earth map, but they leave off Antarctica. Okay. I don't think they want you to know that it goes around the outside edge. So if there is a sphere, yeah. however far out you go, it has to drop. Right. Okay. So there's a curvature formula right there. This is Chicago across 60 miles of Lake Michigan. Okay. So that should be hidden under by the formula 2,400 feet of curvature. Right. Okay. That's like a 240 story building. Yeah. But it's right there, we can see it. And we had a guy get in a boat and go all the way across and it wasn't a mirage or yeah. anything. Right, so, when you're at the sea, out. You can tell as you get higher that you're looking over that arch. Yeah, it's not the arch. That you're looking at angular resolution. See, like if I'm down here, I can't read that. I can only read it when I'm higher and look so at it. If I can walk far enough, I'll fall off the edge. No, because the edge is, look, that's Antarctica. That holds in the oceans. Okay. That's what it looks like. But look, these world organizations use it. There's something to this. Okay, so now look, if there's a flat surface, you get a line of reflection. It goes right on this table. Sure. This is reality, is the line. If it was curved, you'd only get a little spot like that. There's something else you have to know. Vanishing point and perspective. These railroad tracks continue. 
but they never meet and they go in infinitely, right? So, but why do they look like to come to a point? Because that's how our eyes see things at a distance. Okay, so the same thing with a horizon. The ship goes into the vanishing line. That's what really happens. Because we have a... We have a round fan. You're a round fan? Oh, you're not interested in truth. No. Uh, I guess was telling him too much truth. He couldn't comprehend it. Did you ever hear this before? That we don't really live on a spinning ball? I have heard it before, and my husband is very passionate that we do. That we do? That we live on a spinning ball? Yeah, that the earth is not flat. Oh. Well, has he done any research? Yeah, I can't even go there. Do you want to go with him on this? you want to give it to him? That's okay. All right. I appreciate it. Yes, we are. Any of your questions on this? Okay, that's fine. Hey, Laura. Here's a safe round. Oh, yeah, what, what is it? Honor bound and too low. You can pass it on to me when you're done. I did read this. I'll get it for you. That's my fun.
Lakewood Cottage. Here you go for your kids. Interested in science? Nah, okay.
You got 30 seconds? Thank you so much. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. So I have a question. Okay. So what happened when Columbus came to the edge? And what happened? Yeah. He went to the edge? Well, you know what? I only teach up to the edge of Antarctica. I don't go past that because nobody knows what's there except our government. I thought I had you there. No, so circumnavigation, sure. circumnavigation just means going around. Mm -hmm. And you can do the same thing on this. You can, there's North Pole, you can go around. Mm -hmm. Same thing. What about this way? Nobody knows what's underneath there. Nobody. And nobody's allowed to go to Antarctica either. Ever since 1959 when they had the Antarctic Treaty. People go to Antarctica. They're only allowed to go a certain point. Okay. Okay, if you want to visit the South Pole, mm -hmm. they admit it's a fake South Pole. They they will hold your hand, could charge you thousands of dollars, and they'll hold your hand and take you to a fake South Pole. And they'll do a little dance around it. Mm -hmm. But it's fake. They it's, they tell you right out. Well, you can't convince me. I'm not trying to. <laughs> you have to decide if you want to know the truth or not. Yeah. That's your decision. I'm not so, here to convince so who, you. So who uh, profits from this If theory they can fool or... us, it's easy. If if they can fool us, they can rule us. Here's the other thing: is what's the difference between being educated with lies or being uneducated? Well, how do you know they're lies? Because we have the evidence right here. The level isn't. No. <laughs> Yeah, the level is absolutely proof. It's absolute proof. It's always at your eye level. Well, let's see. Yeah. 
And we have reflections on the water, on a level surface. So what about the other yeah, yeah. side, then? Plum. What other side what are you talking about? Well, what happens when you go to the edge? Nobody knows except our government, okay? So if you accept, if you accept that this is a flat surface because of this, mm -hmm. then we go to the next thing. But you won't even accept that. You just want to make fun. Mm -hmm. See, so I don't... I, I'm just, yeah, I but see, you, proved it. no, no, there was when people in America said. long before Columbus was here. Oh, yeah, we have pyramids over here. We have pyramids in Mexico. Yes. Do you know what pyramids were? Energy collectors. Yeah. 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 Did you know that? They were not tombs. I thought they were tombs. No. No, there's a whole lot of lies. This is only this just opens a door for all the other lies. Mm -hmm. Once you figure out the government lies, so why, why are they lying about it? Then? If they can fool us, they can rule us. Did you know knowledge is power? Okay, they've got all the knowledge, and they teach us lies. So we have no knowledge. It's a space program. We have no knowledge. Do you understand that? We have no knowledge because we know lies. I just don't get your theories. It's not a theory, though. Mm -hmm. See, this is reality. I deal with reality. Well. Space program, here you go. Bubbles in space. We have air bubbles going up the helmet of the astronaut. How does yeah. that happen in space? There's no gravity up there. No, an air bubble going up the helmet? If there's no gravity, an air bubble, if there was... Uh, an air bubble in, mm -hmm. in, in vacuum of space, it would just float around. But it's going up the helmet, mm -hmm. and that guy had to be in water, mm -hmm. okay? For an air bubble to go on his helmet, he has to be in the water. Well, you know what? Do you think we landed on the moon? Of course. No. That was the first thing I looked up, the moon landing. <laughs> fake, fake, fake. Uh, well, you can't convince me. I'm not trying to. Okay. I don't care. If you want to believe a lie, that's your problem. Well, it's not proven to be a lie. It is. No, it's not. It is. You just don't want to see it. What? You don't want to look into it. You don't want to research it. I can't help you. Nobody can help you. <laughs> Nobody can help you if you don't want to know. Maybe you're beyond help. No, if you don't want to know. Maybe you're beyond. Help. I want to know the truth, so I look into things. You don't want to know, so you don't look into things. I just well, see. I Even from last you. week, you still don't want to know. Even thinking about it for a whole week. Well, I haven't, but I just saw you. Uh, you brought it back to me. There you so, go. So somebody's yeah. telling you something. No, there's some spirit telling you something. That's what it is. Thank you. Good luck with your spinning fake ball. Interested in science? Okay. <laughs> Social studies, math, science. <laughs> need my wife, the chemist. <laughs> You're a chemist. No, no, but you need my wife, who's the chemist. Oh, your wife is a chemist. Yes. Well, guess what? This is the flat Earth map. North Pole's in the center. Antarctica goes all the way around the outside edge. Yep. Look at all these world organizations that use the flat Earth map, but they leave off Antarctica. Now, why is that? I don't think they want you to know that it actually goes around the outside edge. And look, this is what it looks like. That's what holds in all the oceans. What's beyond there, I don't know. <laughs> I've never been there, okay? But the governments have been there, okay? So, but you only went so far, okay? So they don't let you just free explore. <laughs> I don't have the wherewithal <laughs> to do yeah. all And the they don't let you, you do that. You went around a lot that you couldn't go in with. 
Right. Well, there's no such thing necessarily, but even, I mean, it's just... Well, wait a minute. John Kerry, John Kerry flew 300 miles in from the edge. Right. And that barely made a dent. So that barely makes it... So you had the two people that made it across the track. But you're right. But in terms of continent size, Antarctica is the largest continent. So let me... Let me just tell you a few things and see if it opens up some other doors for you here. Okay, so if there is a ball, there has to be a curvature formula forever. How far out we go, it has to drop. Say it again? If you go out, it has to drop. There has to be a formula for that. And we agree, both the globalists and flat earth agree, it's 24901, the equator. Okay. So our equator goes like this. Okay, it goes around this way. But we'll agree it's 24901. So here's a curvature formula, 8 inches times a mile squared. Okay. And the horizon is always at your eye level, no matter how high you go. Right. Okay. okay. At Mount Everest, in an airplane or whatever, it's always at your eye level. It never goes down. You never look down. You don't see it ever. Yeah. Never do. So here we go. We have uh, reflection on a flat surface. You get a line. Yeah. Okay. It goes right onto that table. This is reality. Reality is the line. If it's a curved surface, you only get a little spot of reflection, no matter how far. So what is this? This is perspective. <laughs> These railroad tracks continue, but they never touch. We know that. It, they never touch or the train would crash. So what is that? That's perspective. It goes to a vanishing point. Now, if you don't have anything on the sides, like the edge of the road or whatever, it, you have a vanishing line. That's the horizon. Sure. So when a ship goes over the curve, <laughs> it's really going into that horizon. Right. But we have these P-1000 cameras who can zoom in 100 miles, and we can bring them right back into focus when they disappear. Because that's what we're seeing is just it disappears. So we have this information. We have star trails. That's Polaris in the middle. You leave your aperture open, you're going to get concentric circles. Okay. Now look what they teach us in the schools. We have the Milky Way, and the sun is in the Milky Way, and the Milky Way's moving, the sun's moving, and we are on one of these planets trying to orbit and catch up. Do you ever think you'd get that from that? Not me. I'm not buying it. Okay? So, what else do we have? Centrifugal force. That's a good one. How come if this is spinning 1,000 miles an hour at the equator, we don't weigh less at the equator? We don't weigh less. Wait, wait, wait. Why do we say it's spinning 1,000 miles an hour? Because it's 24,901 in a 24-hour day. Let's say it again. 24,000 miles in a 24-hour day. That's 1,000 miles per hour. Approximately. Don't get no, nitpicky no. with me. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I'm trying to think because I think we're, we're doing apples and oranges. No, we're not because you can, <laughs> you you can go, you can go you miles. Say. Yeah, I do. Miles per gallon in a car. Oh, that's not what I'm saying is miles per hour. So, you know how there's certain parts of the world you have no night or you have no day? That's only in, in, in the Arctic Circle. You Not can just. have 24 hours. Yeah. Moscow has white nights. Okay, fine. Is it within the <laughs> Arctic Circle? Is it within the lakes. Arctic Circle? No. Moscow's not within yeah. the Arctic Circle? Not even close. Well, how, it says it's longer. Okay, this has 24. 48 degrees. 24 hour is that be within the Arctic Circle. So if we think about it in terms of the, the distance in a day based on the sun, that's why I'm saying it's apples and oranges. No, I'm saying we're equator. I know what you're saying. <laughs> and you're saying to go all the way around a, revolu a revolution in one day. But it's not the same. What's not the same? <laughs> For the Earth to spin, sure. in one day, it has to go a thousand miles an hour at the equator. At the equator, not up here in Moscow. At the equator, to go twenty-four thousand miles, okay, time. Time. it has to physics, go physics with your ball. Uh huh. If I throw the ball, is it going faster here? Here? Depends on where it's spinning. If it's spinning on the mm -hmm. axis, it's, it's going, going faster the on the equator. When your car goes through, my car has different widths. When it goes through radar, is it part your of Your car going is not a other? spinning ball. And your car <laughs> does not have a radius. It right. goes by the radius. It, you remember one of those little uh, merry-go-rounds on the playground? They said that the Earth is not round. 
It's an oblate spheroid. Right. So it screws up all your mathematics. No, it doesn't screw up any of my mathematics because I don't believe in this fight fake thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're going to agree disagree. I love your passion. If you teach people some math along it's, the way, that's wonderful. This isn't passion. This is just factual information. Well, and look it's matter how you interpret the factual information. That's what science is until it's disproven. So you're trying to disprove it. Yeah, this it. was so disproved. Good. This okay. is disproved. Keep going. Yeah. So, so you're not I'm interested in looking at anything. I understand that. Okay. Okay. So I'm number one, and two more times you'll hear this, and you'll think, well, maybe I should take it seriously. Well, no. I, uh, when I've been to Ecuador at the equator, they talk about how the Oh, and they have that little basin on the equator, and they move it up this way 10 feet, and it swirls this way, and then they move it that, and well, it goes the other way. About, like, and did you ever solstice. really watch that with a critical eye? Well, I wasn't going to talk about that, but I was talking more about with the solstice and what which side the horizon's on, depending on certain times of the year. So I do recognize there is lots of debate of even the way the maps are presented to us. So the traditional map isn't proportional. So people made the maps. map. How does the map relate to the water being flat? And 73% of the earth is water. So how do you make 27% into a sphere? So I'm not sure how where our arguments went there. <laughs> well, start thinking about it. And, and, you know, you might come up with something. And if you type this in, you'll get everything on my banner. So you type that in. All right. So then you can think for yourself. <laughs> so are we so is your argument really is a flat earth? The, the reality is the flat earth. That's reality. This is made up. Cuz if they can fool us, they can rule us. They can they? the people who run the governments of the world, all of them. And they all agree. They all assigned they all signed the Antarctic Treaty sure. in 1959. Okay. So we have not had a legitimate war since then. A legitimate war? Yeah. <laughs> I think Siri would disagree with you on that one. <laughs> Hi guys, what do you say? This is this is a torus field, okay? It's electromagnetic energy. And our earth is in here like this, so we live inside this torus field. Electricity comes up out of the North Pole. It excites the elements in the lower atmosphere. And that gives you the aurora borealis because there's more elements down near the surface of the Earth. It comes up and around, and it goes around. Antarctica is out here at the edge. This is like the, the map. This is the best map we have. Antarctica goes around the outside edge. Okay, that's how it works. So there's a lot of information here. If you type this in, you'll get all the information here on the banners. You'll see all these pictures again. Type that in and you'll see all the pictures. You got a question? I just want to have your website first. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Thanks. Yep. I know you have a question now. I was watching that. Okay, cool. You know, even if you study this and not accept it right away or anything, just studying it's going to make you smarter. I've watched a lot of videos, like the beats. Yeah, yeah. Well, this this link here will give you this mm -hmm. and two other videos that I really like, like a time lapse of the sun. Is this your personal channel or just? Um, I'm on this. I'm on this website. Oh, you can okay. see a picture of me, and you can see I what I do. Uh, that goes to a website, oh, okay. and that has the uh, YouTube. Uh, the this isn't YouTube. Oh, I see. Just right, type right. that in, and it'll give you three videos. But okay. that's not on YouTube. Thank you. Yeah, just I'll check it out yeah, and yeah. start thinking for yourself and don't believe what the government tells you. Mm -hmm. That's so where I'm at. Why do you think that they like, fake the photos? Like that's... Yeah. Like, because well, they want to they they prove to us that this environment that we're in is not what we think it is. They want us to deny our senses so we're more easily controlled. Educated people are hard to control. Mm -hmm. The kings never let the serfs read. Because educated people are hard to control. Governments want to control. That's what they're all about. So, 
politically, would you consider yourself like a libertarian, conservative? Politically, I don't vote anymore because I know it's a game. It's all a game. They're all on the same team. Trump and Hillary are out partying together. They don't really mean what they say. Mm -hmm. And that's where I'm at with it. I don't really want to do that anymore. So, and I was, I was heavily into politics. I really wanted to change the world. And then I figured you? out, this is a game they're playing with us. Mm -hmm. So... Did you always uh, believe in the, the flat Earth? No. Two years ago, I looked into the moon landing and found that was faked. Why, why would they do that? Because they want us to believe that it's a vast, made-up, it's just a random universe. Mm -hmm. But this this was created. But how does that You have progress? to figure out who created it and what the purpose was. But it is flat and there's a dome. We have evidence for the dome. So, and there's free-flowing electricity up there because of the Taurus field. And we can tap into that and get free electricity. So why aren't we getting that for ourselves? The government captures it and sells it to us. Right. So they can be trillionaires and we can struggle paycheck to paycheck. Mm -hmm. All these things are involved in this, this idea here, this what's going on. So you don't, suffice to say you don't believe in like global warming or something like that, yeah. Personally, I don't, I don't either. Really yeah, know. yeah. They lie to us about like 99.99% .99 of everything. Right, so they can make us think we're dying or something. Yeah. yeah, and they, oh yeah, there's going to be a swine flu. You got to get a vaccination. And they put in aluminum and it goes to our brains and makes us dumb. Mm -hmm. So you got to be very careful. Yep. I'm so glad that you're checking into these things at your young age and don't have to live your whole life yeah, like I, I did being bamboozled. Indoctrination. Yes, yes. You're a very smart young man. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks, you too. She's down.